Is it possible to create electronic drum sounds on the Behringer Pro 1? Yes, it is. I'm Simodi and I will show you how to do it. Most electronic drum sounds are composed of a mix of filtered noise and pitch sweeps. The Behringer Pro 1 can do both of these really, really well and has super fast envelopes, so it's really a great synthesizer to create drum sounds. So let's dive right into it. Okay, first let's try to get a kick. And for that we need a shorter envelope, I would say. And some pitch modulation. So this determines how much envelope 1 modulates the pitch of oscillator A. Nice. So no sustain. Filter more closed. More resonance. Not bad. Maybe lower. And now that's the lowest note we have. Ah, okay, cool. A bit of noise. Yeah, let's try to get some nice 909 pitch sweep. Now, this is more some kind of higher pitched kick. Nice. Shorter envelope here. Also not bad. Oh, this one is good. This one I will keep. Nice. So next we probably want a snare drum, I would say. So for that, let's open the filter. Okay, we need a lot of noise for that here. We have that already. And a bit of sound, yeah? maybe a bit higher. I think we're good with the pulse wave. Ah, that's nice. This is my snare. Okay, let's try to create a hi-hat. So to begin with, we want only noise. Oh, it's already almost good. Let's see what we can do with the envelope here. We can use those, but maybe we want a different one. Let's see what we can do with the resonance. Interesting. Ah, nice. I like this. That sounds pretty much like a closed hi-hat now. I will keep this. 
Yes. Okay, if I want some toms, I have to play with the pitch envelope first. Okay, the filter needs to be more closed. Not bad already. Maybe without resonance. Yeah, I like this already. Let's try the second oscillator. Yeah, cool, why not? Okay, let's try something with the pitch envelope. Yeah, we can use that. Well, now we have the drum sounds. Let's see how useful they are. I will first use the raw recorder drum sounds and later on blend in some EQing and some room effects. So, as you can see, the raw recorded sounds are not bad, but they need quite some EQing to make them sound like a proper drum machine. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some new ways to use your Pro One. If you don't have one yet, get one. It's a steel and easily one of the best sounding Behringer synthesizers. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel.